All right, welcome to Greg's Maker Corner. Before I get into the actual build, I'm gonna give you a primer on some of the tools that you're gonna need and supplies. You're gonna need a soldering iron. Um, I recommend the Hacko, which you see here. This is a, it's the FX 8801. Um, it's a really good soldering iron. It is a bit more expensive, around a hundred bucks. You're also gonna need plenty of heat shrink for wires. When you go through that, I have a couple different types that I use. Um, one other thing that you'll need, this is what I use for the heat inserts, and it's very handy on this build. At some point in the future, you're also going to need some sandpaper for sanding down the Bontech um, gear shaft. Unfortunately, that is something you have to do in this build. I use this little hand sander. It only took me about maybe 10 minutes. A good ruler is also a must. Uh, I would not call this a good ruler, but it works. It's one of these overture uh, rulers that comes with the overture filament. I ended up cutting it down um, so that I could measure more precisely. But you are going to need this throughout the build when you're measuring distances for like how far the carriage is or how far the extrusion is um, from a screw or something. So this this will come in handy. You're also going to need a flathead and a Phillips head screwdriver. So these are going to be used for the M2 self-tapping screws. And then also on the SKR, there's some spring terminals that you have to screw down. Of course, a good pair of scissors is always a must as well. I've been using these for a long time. They're pretty heavy duty. They're garden benders. Uh, I really like these scissors. All right, something else you're going to need for this project are your um, metric uh, drivers. I've, I I like these uh, this particular brand the best, which is the Weha. Um, there's also Bonhus. These aren't bad, but those have um, ball joints. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes it's not. Um, and then I've got, <clears throat> as you can see here, some uh, Titan crimpers. These are good for doing like um, the speed terminals or the, you know, the ring terminals if you have those. Um, this is for, these are for ferrules. So you put the wire in the ferrule and then you just squeeze it and it crimps this. It's supposed to be a square. So those go in the spring terminals on the SKR boards. And then these are the pliers for the connectors or the crimpers. So I've got the PA09, those are probably the ones that I'll end up using the most, but I also have for larger connectors if I need them. Someone in the uh, Discord had mentioned that this was this Permatex is a good thread locker to use, so I'm going to try that. I used to, have, I used to use uh, Blue Loctite, but it's kind of a little more drippy. This stuff is a gel, as you can see here, so I'm going to give that a shot.